Greetings and welcome back to Against the Storm. I'm Castro Sky and a huge thank you to all of my patrons and supporters and everybody who watches and everybody who has subscribed. Please do because I know that lots of people aren't. Um, but thank you all for commenting and liking, doing all the things um, to help this channel grow. I really appreciate you. Y'all are great. Um, anyway, in the last episode, so we're building a roguelike city which we will hopefully build to completion. And then we'll be able to have a permanent city on our map. At the moment, we only have one reputation point and we would like to kind of extend that into winning. That would be very nice. We would also like to get high resolve because that will give us a bonus over here as we see. Um, these are our current perks. I think I forgot to mention that in the last episode. 15 eggs a minute, 15 grain per minute. Um, and then we have our yeah lizard working. And then we have the gift of the woodlands here. Harvesting speed is up. But anyway, this shows all of the modifiers on the map. Now, it might be good to look at our trade routes because we can actually kind of look and see what we can trade for. Now, I believe, did we have one with a raincoat involving? Let's see. Rotting wood. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. services would be great. Let's see, hostility two. One of them? I can't remember. I thought we had one of them involving fancy food, but it looks like service is one. So we really want to look and make sure we can get a service. But there are other things like spices from the citadel, citadel uh, spices from the smoldering city, human and lizard folk favorites, plus one to global resolve. And we can actually get these um, every minute. Now it might be good to get them uh, by trading for something like grain uh, because we do have that we also have the eggs that we can trade for that do they want eggs let's see let's do grain and we'll just do just say start route and get that going and uh, next delivery and payment is in one minute okay so what else have we got here we have our spark do uh, charged rainwater, extremely useful and dangerous at the same time. I forgot. Can, I wonder if we can trade that. Let's see. We might be able to. Probably we can. But we, I wonder if we want to harvest this. I think it's the lizards who are, is it the lizards or the beavers? No, it's beavers. Okay, so we need a beaver to work there. Possibly. We have our makeshift post and I think that that might be something we want to uh we want to prioritize so that we get those extra points because every time we get an extra mark on the reputation scale only at the blue marks not at every reputation point we get an extra card so that's going to help us with stuff so we can get those packs of crops maybe made that would be amazing do we have roots uh we have some roots yeah okay so let's go ahead and put a person there and see what we got going. Now, this circle, this moving circle, means that the trader is getting ready to leave. So if you want to trade for any of these things, make sure you trade before that circle goes away. Uh, and then she'll be away for a while and then she'll come back. Okay, what do we have here? We have we have this, you know, the, uh, the guide shows us for a few minutes what we have and then it goes away. So these things are trappers camps needed to get this meat. So that could be a good thing. We have a small abandoned cache again needs tools we'd probably either have to trade for that or uh, or make them ourselves uh, but right now I don't want to do either of those let's see we do have this smelter which needs some bricks uh, that would be great I think we can get make tools with the smelter as I recall there's a lot of options in this game so I do forget sometimes but okay so this foragers camp doesn't actually have anything in range so we're gonna move this and the, I guess the easiest way to see if the foragers camp does anything is to move them to an area, but there's nothing lighting up on the ground. If it forages a specific item, you'll see a yellow um, thing underneath it. So this doesn't actually function right now. So we don't need to put an employee there. All right, are we needing anything from here? Not yet. Let's see, let's go back. I think we're just gonna build this farm. Let's start with building the farm. We have plenty of housing for our people. This is really good. Our lizards are, are getting up there to the mark. Yay. 
Yep, increased resolve to affect reputation. So if we get our lizards a little bit happier, and we get maybe some of those spices. I wonder if we have, if she has any of those spices. No, I don't see them. So I don't think I see them. Reeds, no. Green, no. Okay, it'll be fine. But now that we have some production going, I think it's time to start this uh, as well. This is really important, the crude workstation. We've got to keep that running. And what we really want to do is get all of these materials, all of the... Um, we need planks, fabric, and bricks because those can also be used to make the faction-specific houses. So that's really important to keep track of. Now we need four bricks to make the smelter. I don't think we have those yet, so there's no point in putting anybody to work on this until we actually have those bricks. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, we have these people here, no beavers free. I think all the beavers are working here. Yep, they are all working here. Ah, let me take, um, was thinking about taking one off and putting them at the work station. I forget if they get the bonus here or if it's at the lumber mill that they get a bonus. Let me try and put a beaver here. No, they do get uh, that worker, specific worker gains to resolve, but it's not a global thing. So I'll just go ahead and put them here because they have a 10% uh, chance to produce twice as much, which is nice because having lots of wood is great because this is our constant consumer of wood, the ancient hearth. It will eat pretty much everything 24 hours a day. We got to keep that burning or we're going to lose a lot of morale. Okay, so we're going pretty well. Oh, oh, are we getting stuff? Are we getting bonuses? Okay, not yet, not yet, but close. Okay, we have one lizard who is actually happy. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Okay, so it also tells you kind of what they like. Uh, jerky, pie, pickled goods, skewers, religion, brotherhood. That's a nice one that we can get from many of the services buildings and it affects several people. I forget. Oh, leisure one affects uh, beavers and leisure is usually at the tavern. Let's see, brotherhood or oh, religion is what humans need. So... Yeah, they need, hopefully we can get some kind of building that's going to give us some stuff here. I'm waiting to see the numbers go up. Come on, <laughs> give us a thing. Okay, but we do need to have one of our humans working here. So got to get that done and we got to take one off of here. I'll just take one from there. Uh, because we do need to have a builder because I want to build these farm fields. Those are really important. Uh, so hopefully we'll get those done. See, this is our bakery. Okay, we don't need any of that yet, but we're good. I guess we can also build a road up there because they do gain benefits from walking on roads. But I want this farm stuff to happen first. Now, yep, the storm is pretty bad, but we actually have really, really high resolve. So I'm not really worried about people leaving this time. Okay, we're doing really well. Oh, we opened this area. That's nice. Ah, oh, that's right. In this uh, map, we had the, if the lumberjacks cut down trees, they won't actually get any progress or they won't make wood for us. So rough times, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so here, actually, let me just change this, and remove these, this cutting area, remove that one as well. I think we'll go up this way and maybe even connect through here potentially. Happily, our resolve is not going down very fast. This is actually really, really good. Really good. I would like to make some upgraded foods though. So let's see, if we get some planks and some fabric, we can get this stuff going. But I'm really kind of wishing for more employees. But that happens, of course, as soon as the rain lets up a tiny bit. And we have our ability to get people and stuff. Now, we need one more human to get this. I would love the beaver and... You know what? I'm going to take the beaver and the uh, the lizard. Because those are the two we actually really need. Um, because we can put a beaver probably here. Make some of this spark do. And then we will... Ha and we can also put the beaver over here if nothing else. Now lizards, uh, let's put a lizard here, 
don't know if the lizard gets any bonus from there, but sometimes they have these. Uh, sometimes they're good at crafting certain things. Okay, so we have, oh wow, we have stuff. Spices. Herbs and root production is increased by plus one for every 60 biscuits produced. We don't have, oh actually we have a bakery. But we don't, we, we didn't choose the herbalist hut, so we don't actually have the herbalist hut, so that's not good. Uh, okay, so shady but lucrative deal to gain 10 amber every time a villager dies. I hope not. Let's get the clay delivery line. I feel like that's a good idea, especially since we don't have a lot of people working on stone cutting. Uh, I think this is actually a pretty good deal. Okay, so our packs of crops are getting produced. We have almost five. This is actually great. I'm quite happy with that. All right, so here... We are out of range of the woodcutter's hut, so let's move it up to here so we can get through this area. You kind of have to move these things pretty, yeah, pretty significantly. I'm going to go ahead and borrow one beaver and put them over here instead. Put a beaver out here and then I would like to put a road through this area as well. Okay, just kind of go on the edges so we can maybe build some housing. Whatever we need out here. Okay, things are happening. All right, so we can now make biscuits and pottery. What do these guys need? They like pie. All right, so we would need flour and herbs for that to make pie. Does anybody else like pie? Pis uh, the biscuits or pickled good? <laughs> biscuits is the middle of that word, apparently. <laughs> ah, but humans like pie. We could raise it with... They, they need biscuits. Okay, so let's make pie. Because we had the lizard people up really high before. I think pie. We can make jerky and pie. I think that's a good, good thing that would satisfy most of our people. So let's just do that. Let's make pie. Now we're going to need herbs for this. Do we have any herbs? I think they're under crafting materials. Wow, we have so much grain. Look at this. Uh, we definitely want to get those made. So let's get flour made over here. And, and then add a lizard person. And get that going, because that's really good. Oh, we got a chance to pick an order now. What do we got? Okay, 20, 50 leisure or 10 humans for 60 seconds at 80 above 80 resolve a hey. hmm. the problem is is we don't actually have the tavern yet and we don't know if we're gonna get it so i'm kind of like i don't know now we need to get more reputation points to get that we can get that if we start getting more of these uh, activities done so I'm hoping that will come into the picture. But let's see. Do we have herbs? What do we have on herbs? We don't have any herbs. No. Help. Now we can call the trader immediately. But IMO, it is never worth to increase the uh, impatience level. Not a good plan. Not a good plan. I guess in certain circumstances you might. But in general, not a good idea. Okay, so we have meat there. We have eggs, meat. Um... Is this herbs? No, these are... No, those are definitely not herbs. These are... Roots plus herbs. Hmm. We could put a person here. So this lizard person is very good at doing this. I'm going to wait till they finish these planks because I don't want to lose that production. And I'm going to trade... I'm going to take them off and then start producing herbs. So let's pick them here. And we see... So in this kind of case, what happens is if you want a second person, they have to be a lizard, which is interesting, but yeah. Uh, they don't seem to have any specific bonus, but it's okay. So scavengers camp is not populated. We really need more people, really. I want to get more people. I guess what we could do is I like to have full farming going on at these places, uh, even though... Uh, we actually are getting so much grain. We could actually trade the grain at this point. Well, we might do that. I don't know. Let's see. We are right, right now we're making... I'm going to go ahead and just set them to flour. 
so that the flower gets to happen. Looks like we have tons of eggs as well. I want to check on our trade routes and make sure that's still going. Okay, so we're trading, yeah, uh, one spice for seven grain, and that's kind of ongoing, which is great. Let's see, can we get something else? We can also get coat delivery, which is nice. Mushrooms, clay, and pottery. I think we want raincoats. Uh, I think we want raincoats. Let's get raincoats. And we can pay them in, probably in grain. Ooh, the spark do as well. Vegetables, I think grain. So we'll start this route. And we can always stop if we get too much of these particular resources. Let's see, how many spices? Do we have a lot of spices right now? Or any? We have some uh, spark do. Rain. No, I don't see any spices, but... Let's see, trade goods, crafting. Okay, so packs of crops. It doesn't look like we're getting more of these. Hmm that here? Roots. I think we're short on roots. Let's check. Yeah, I'm not seeing any roots, so no roots. So we can fire this person here uh, because we really need these darn roots. So they are going to gather some. This lizard is getting stuff. And here, we don't need any of that. But could put them over the woodcutters. We could put them over... Do we have enough bricks? We don't have any bricks. Hmm. This seems somewhat... Somewhat rough. Do we have clay? We do have a little bit of clay. I'm wondering... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the extra person there. And by the way, it's really hard to have one builder. Oh my god, we have an emergency. Okay, so fallen human explorers... We need to make sure that we clear this as soon as possible because there is a major debuff from this, as we had in the last episode. Uh, so we'll take that human and we'll take... I think we'll just take the human from wherever we put them. Oh my gosh, we looked at so many buildings. It's like, where are they, huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> okay, we'll take this one here and we'll put this on this expedition and we're not going to forget to click this time. So what do we want? I think we want this Queen's Grace and we... Oh, there's a thing. Reinforced saw blades plus one... Oh my god, that's amazing. Plus one to every yield? Okay, so just to give you a perspective, we get two planks every yield and that costs us eight lumber. We're going to get three. We are actually increasing by 50% this thing if we get this. All right, let's get this. We only need 30 logs, so we're going to get that. Um, all right, so what do we got here? We have a, an abandoned cache, which has stuff for us, but yeah. Okay, we are, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're doing the things and the stuff. Okay, and our little buddy here is, yep, getting stuff, getting stuff from storage. We do need, well, we'd love to have another farmer here. Yep, more veggies and stuff. Let's see. Okay, we did we did click it. They have 10, 10 logs. Hooray. I'm always like, where are they? Oh my god, they have a thing. <laughs> but this is nice. We are getting flour, so that's exciting. Let's see. Consumables, crafting resources. Yeah, those are 10 flour so far. And we're going to work to get those herbs. Let's see. I'm still learning where all the icons are. It's like, okay, how many do we need? And all the th stuff and all the things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's, of course, a button to force the delivery if we want to. Now, they do get delivered to our main building. And there are other storage buildings. Did we? Oh, yeah, we haven't built one yet. That's right. We would love to do that, actually. I think I might build... Hmm. I guess it depends where we're building two. Maybe a storage over here would not go amiss. Let's do that. I think I want to build a storage over here. And that way we're going to get one of our points as well. Build storage there and then we need a makeshift hearth. And I guess maybe that would be better put out here maybe. 
Uh, we can always delete this thing if we don't want it, by the way. One, two. Eh. Eh. Bye. Nay. Doesn't fit the way I want it to. I wanted to have the... Oh, I guess I can put the other thing down there. Okay, the hearth is where they pick up clothing and where they get stuff. So it's good to have, you know, uh, road access and that kind of thing. Okay, and we are kind of waiting for stuff. Let's see, we're waiting for more flour and more herbs. I might buy herbs because that would be a good thing to buy from the trader, actually. Let's see, decide what we wanted here. Oh no, we were going to wait till we got a building. Ah, oh, yes. Also, what we can do is take this beaver off of this and put them here to make the crops. Oh, not this. I don't want you to make provisions. No, don't do that. We might buy some herbs. I think that would be a really good thing to do. Let's see, we have two builders currently working. Ah, yes, and now is the rain where their lumber gets destroyed. Ah, and yes, we need to move our woodcutters camp as well. All right, I love to... Let's, let's put it here. I know it's on top of the farm field, but we kind of need it to go and get these trees cut down. All right, we can take those trees as well. Kind of think we should cut through here just to kind of connect things a little bit better. See, how many people do we have working here? Two. All right, I do feel we need the two builders. Oh, we're, we're creeping up on more hostility of the forest. As you can see, there are various things that help and various things that hurt this uh, situation. So yeah, we, um, we have stuff going on there. Let's see, we just need more. I'm surprised we haven't gotten more humans left. I'm actually really surprised about that. Okay, we're getting, we have high resolve. Look at this, 0 0.09 per minute. That is coming from our humans. We have satisfied something over here. Ah, the need for clothing, that definitely helps. Uh, they also have housing and other stuff. We really want to get a couple of these things done so we get more cards and the ability to maybe even make specialized houses uh, that appeal to our residents, that kind of thing. It's going to be important. So that's good. Um, oh, that keeps blinking at me. I have this need to click the blinking thing. But let's see. This can also be made. I don't know if we have enough uh, of those bolts, though. We might actually be really short of the bolts. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, we, we, yeah, we have zero. We actually have zero. Okay, new season. Hooray. Okay, more humans, please. Let's go. Let's take the, one of the beavers. Let's take one of each. That's giving us this as finished. The Queen's Envoy. Time to choose another thing. Reinforced axes. Okay, woodcutter's camp production is 50% quicker. The rain is getting heavier. Vegetable production is increased by three, but global resolve is decreased by two. I don't think so. Decreased by minus two seems like a really weird way to put this. I should. I would think it's just uh, is. I, I don't know. Take either take away the word decrease or take away the minus sign because that actually means plus two. All camp production is increased by fifty percent, but all buildings using fertile soil have their yield decreased by fifty percent. That means your farms are going to have fifty percent less yield. I don't think that that's a good trade-off because we are not having a lot of gathering. Plus, gathering is um, not a permanent thing. Even though you probably are never going to run out of stuff, I think it's. I think the reinforced axe is probably the best of these options that we get to choose. So let's go ahead and choose this thing. We can deliver this one. Hello? I don't know why. Ah, we have to have thir six humans for at least 30 seconds. Okay, that's what's happening there. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to get another point. But man, this is good having... Oh, well, we had a high resolve and now it's down again. Whoops. <laughs> but it is going up. We should have stuff happening here shortly. Let's check out, uh, do we get a trade? No, we don't get a trade. I think we might have missed the last trader somehow. Okay, it's okay though. Done humans. Okay, so we have a big uh, blue check mark where that is. We can go ahead and deliver this. Okay, and we get a card. Pick a new building, let's go. So we have the smokehouse, which produces jerky. 
Mm, somebody needs that. And we have a furnace already. So let's pick that one. Seems good. I would love to get a service building because right now we just don't have one. Or do we? Let me check. Just make sure. Storage, hearth, trading post, supplier, mine, la di da di da. Nope. Nigh. Not a thing. Okay. So now we can get a smokehouse. And right now we're kind of in a situation where we just don't have enough uh, people. So it might be time to consider getting a, uh, from one of these little camps that we find, getting the people bonus from that. Okay, so this would be, these are fancy foods. There's jerky there, biscuits there. But amber is over there. <laughs> nice, tasty, good stuff. Yup. Okay, so what do we got going on here? I want to see how many herbs we have. We have zero roots, so we're going to pause this again. This was making our packs of crops. Oh, they're currently making packs of crops. Okay, that's good. We'll leave that to happen. And then, let's see. The other thing that we were doing, we want the makeshift hearth, but we don't have enough bolts yet. I'm thinking we might need to buy some tools to get uh, to, to get that made so that we can actually get the completion for that. Okay. Pack of trade goods. Yeah, that's another thing. Do these people make trade goods? I've forgotten. They make building materials. I don't know if we have anything that makes trade goods yet. Okay. But hopefully, let's get that pack of crops made, please. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Okay, good. We're going to deliver this. We get a point. And we get a card. Hooray. Furnace or carpenter? Thanks. <laughs> we, uh, all right. We get a carpenter. Yay. Okay. All right. And so this, you can actually see what recipes you get. Training gear, luxury items. Now, luxury goods are made from offerings. Uh, all right. So I have no idea where offerings come from, but I guess we'll be able to make luxury goods. Sure. Ooh, we can re-roll. We can re-roll with 10 amber. How much amber do we have? This is sort of tempting, but not really that tempting. I'd rather trade for something better because the re-roll could be just as bad. I think we go for the carpenter, even though we probably don't need one, uh, but it's okay. We'll just go for the carpenter. It's fine i'm gonna build one uh even if we don't really need it it's not very expensive it's just five planks and two uh fabric but yeah it's uh i think so anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause the makeshift post again take the employees out and see what else we can make ah jerky Ooh, do we have any of these insects and stuff no so Let's see. Oh, incense gives us incense. All right, that's cool. Pottery. So we need to get insects from somewhere. I think we can get them from the flax fields as a byproduct of getting flax. Eh, but we don't have a lot of options. One cool thing that you can do is if you click on one of the people, it shows you how many people are at each area. So if you want to move people around, you can kind of do that. So let's see, crude workstation, rain collector, or ancient hearth. That's important. Small farm, only one human there. Oh, wait, we have a whole bunch of people we can reallocate. Aha. Okay, good. And also, you notice that I just clicked the person there to just allocate them. So, let's see. We want to get, what is this stuff made by? Scavenger's camp. So we can get either meat at the, we really need these things because this has six stuff in it. I want to get these goods. I want to get it. Or we have a storm bird nest that gives us 20% meat. But what did that say? The, um, the smokehouse. Okay. So we need insects, not meat. These guys are berries plus more berries. That makes sense. <laughs> you never find one berry not next to each other. <laughs> it happens. Um, all right. Flaxfield gives us a lot of stuff, actually. Clay and insect. 
but we don't actually need the flax. I think flax is going to be, I think that's what you make the raincoats out of at the clothiers, but we don't have the clothiers either. So there's a lot of things going on here. A lot of thinking you have to do to kind of figure out what's, what's kind of going on with this. Let's see. We could get more stuff from these guys, these roots. That is an option. I think it might be a good one. Let's take there. Do we get this? Do we get the jerky? 20% insects. 20% times 40 charges. I want me to get out my calculator for that. That's probably not that much. I'm thinking eight. Is that right? Let's see, times 0.2 is eight. Yeah, that's eight. That's only eight uh, thingies. Uh, how? What is the recipe for this? Four makes 10. So yeah, that's probably not the best use of our time. I don't think that's the best use of our time. What are these? These are meat, meat plus, uh, is that leather? Forget what that symbol is. It is something. Here, uh, no, that's wood. Let's see. I'm looking for it. Oh, wow, we have 50 coats. <laughs> wow. I think we have enough coats right now. I think I'm going to end that trade route. Let's take that off. Uh, anything else we need? Let's see. There's mushrooms. Hey, let's revisit this. There's clay, pottery, and stone. This is not looking good for us. No. Okay, back to the insect debacle, battle, something. I think maybe we just maximize this stuff. Yeah, and then we'll figure out what we need. Let's see, we do have this person making flour. We have how much flour now? I kind of wish this didn't like ha pop up in front of all of the goods. That's really annoying. What we can do, do we have, here we have only four herbs. That's not enough, wow. I mean, I guess I could put one person here for like five minutes <laughs> and then they could be there. I. These are the guys getting herbs though. They're getting herbs very slowly. So that's that's what you kind of need. You need the other farmhouse, the herb uh, hut to make those. Okay. I missed the trader again? No. Oh gosh, it's just when I don't look. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. All right. So we got a, quite a few points. We did get another building. Lumber mill or a furnace? Oh, this is so bad. I don't want either of them. You know what? I'm going to reroll. Nobody saw that. Oh, ooh, what do we get here? We get a tavern, uh, which is good. Granary, produce pack of crops, pack of provisions or mush soup. We don't need any of those. We have two of the mush soup we don't need right now. Tavern gives us brotherhood. That was totally worth it. I am picking this right now and we are building this right now. Tavern is getting our votes for fun and joy and all the things. Okay, let's put this here. We're going to put this on a priority. Put it on priority two, please. And hopefully all our planks are now going to go there. And we can probably choose another objective to complete. Let's see, what did we have here? We had leisure. I don't think we're going to get leisure because we don't have the brewery. Uh, so let's see. Have 10 humans for 60 seconds. Keep the humans resolve above 80. Wow. Uh, we have only six humans. So that might be... You know what? I think it's worth getting, even if we don't resolve it. Because at least it'll give us more options. Okay, pick another thing. Let's see. Have 50... Wow. Luxury needs 50 times? Urgh. This one is find ancient tablets. I do not like to open dangerous glades because they really are very dangerous. I will choose the luxury. That's going to give us other stuff. So that's good. All right. Pick another thing. Let's see. Beaver resolve. Keep beavers above 80 for 60 seconds or build a brewery and a tavern. Hmm. We can build the tavern. We can hope for a brewery, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Or we can always... Oh, wow, we have all these choices here. 75, pie eating 75, or biscuit eating 75. We're going to get the pie, I hope, so maybe that's okay. 
Otherwise, we have clothing 100 times and 20 packs of trade goods. Wow. Uh, all right, so we have... Builder can carry five more items at once. This gives us parts. By the time we get to these, I think we're not going to need these items. But I'm going to go ahead and pick the pie, maybe. Pie and biscuits. I'm going to buy roots. I got to buy a bunch of roots. That's what I need. Okay, so what else do we have here? Cut through the forest to discover eight glades or farm fields. 40 farm fields. Wow. That's a lot. City Renown. Wow, plus three to global resolve. That's crazy good. Pottery delivery line. Or what is this other one? Pack of crops. This is what we've been struggling with because those are the roots which we also don't have access to. <laughs> Help. Let me check one thing first. Do we have eight glades to go into? Here's one. Here's two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have eight. You know what? I'll do the eight because I think that's easier to get. All right, so that's good. So hopefully we can do a lot more of this stuff. I think it's gonna be okay. Wow, we're at 83 resolve, that's fantastic. All right, so here we have another thing. We have eight broccoli needed and we get two people or we can get half a reputation point and amber. Oh, the amber is so good, but I keep missing the trader. Sad times. Um, do we have eight broccoli though? Yes, no, we don't. No, help. A uh, farm should give us that. Let me go ahead and build another farm field. I didn't notice that they had finished that. So let's put that down. There we go. And this woodcutter's hut is busy doing something. I think I'll also build another farm here, even if they can't really access much. I can always move the woodcutter's hut as well. In fact, maybe I'll move the wood hut, woodcutter's hut right now. I'll just put them down here. Um, and then we can just see the farm fields more clearly and we can also access them. That's the most important part of that. So let's get the farm here. Yeah, there, okay. And fields. Okay, because 40 fields is a heck of a lot. That is a lot of farms. Uh, okay, so this is going to cut into two more glades. This is working on one glade. I think we're going to... Actually, we can... Oh, we have another farm area here. That's nice. Um, let me see. Oh, this camera. Camera, please help. Help fix this camera. We need to have reversible camera. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and just remove these cutting areas so we can just target target farm these specific things, specific trees here that we want to cut down. Uh, wow, we need broccoli. Why are we? Why don't we have enough broccoli? I'm wondering about this. Like, why is that not a thing? We are making broccoli. Yes. Uh, but we don't have any for whatever reason. Let's check and see. Are there any other areas that we have not resolved? There's this one. That's the broccoli one. Here is tools, and that's it. Okay. All right, we need Trady Lady to come back. Come back, Trady Lady, help. Okay, this is our carpenter. Oh, oh, here is our happy rainless days. Or, well, it's always raining in this game. <laughs> I like these gigantic broccoli. They're kind of cool. I think they're neat. So hopefully we're gonna get some foods from there. Let's see. How much we get from each tile here. That's interesting to find out. Okay, so that's two broccoli from one square. And four wheat from a square. So it's not actually that much per farm. So we really, really want to set up another farm or two as soon as possible. Go ahead and put this on another priority one. I think the other place has their planks anyway, so they're just waiting on fabric to happen. Let's see, we are making fabric, so that's good. We only have one builder left, but yeah, we need to kind of just make sure that we're getting some of the stuff. Oh, we do actually have the tool maker, but we don't have, I don't think we have any copper because we do have the smelter, which makes the copper bars. But until we actually get the copper, we have no options there. What we can do is these uh, rock deposits, they have a 40% chance of creating copper. So that's actually quite good. Oh, oh, we have six roots again. Hooray. 
I feel the need to make a pack of crops. <laughs> Let's put this builder over there making the crops. And we can take off a human from somewhere else. Maybe? Somewhere? There's no somewhere to take them off of. No. Okay, let's see where people are living. If we have too many... Oh, here we go. We'll take them off of here. Take a human out of there. And do we wanna... We have some beavers here. Ah, let's leave it. They need to cut through trees en masse. I do wonder why they're eating those vegetables so fast because now they're like, or have they, oh, maybe they have, they haven't actually delivered it yet. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Take all the veggies here. Help. Go, <laughs> go get them. Um, so people or Amber, I think, kind of think more people. I kind of think people. Yeah. All right. I normally don't choose those, but you know, it's time. We need more people. Uh, we need a builder because that's why we have all those unhappy faces. Yes, the unhappiness is real. But as soon as this person finishes doing stuff, then they are going to be able to uh, be off of that task. Trader, where were you? Hello? How? How? Huh? How? <laughs> How do I keep missing this trader? This is nuts. Maybe I do everything in the spring and I don't see her there. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It's really strange. Okay, well, we'll wait. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But anyway, we are still opening up these glades. We have zero right now, but hopefully the new openings will fix that. Let's see. Builders, what you doing? Where are you? You reaching these trees? I don't see them actually doing much here. Come on. Come on. Come on, beavers. You don't let me fire them and rehire them, because I don't know if they got bugged or something. Okay, there we go. Maybe they were just taking a break, and they're like, you know, KOS, you don't have to treat us like that. Come on. Did we get all of our... Yes, we got all the broccoli. Hooray! Oh, this is perfect. Good, good, good. Okay, so that's going to go real quick. Um, yeah, we have this drizzle happening, which is not ideal. It's lowering our morale, our uh, global resolve. But we're getting there. I think we got quite a lot of points from having high resolve on humans. So that was a really good thing. Ah, yes, we have a person making pie currently. Let's see. Do we actually have the ingredients for this? I don't know if we have the herbs. I think not... No, we don't. Okay, so we can take this person off the bakery. Um, but we did get some stuff. We get we got 10 pies. That's kind of great. So we have made some pastries. Uh, people are eating pies and biscuits, and that's great. Let's see. The biscuits are also uh, made with similar stuff. They're made with more flour and less herbs. Let's see. Check on Trader. Okay, Trader. Almost coming. All right, we got our human back and we got two new employees. This is kind of great. And we did open up this area. That's pretty good too. Okay, so we can either go for that place or maybe go down here. I think maybe down there is good. Let me just take this place and move it. Okay, so they're going to dig, dig. <laughs> they're going to dig this way. Okay, and that seems okay. Very good, very good. Okay, our raincoats are going down quite rapidly. I'm actually really surprised about that. I think it is worth resetting up that uh, trading uh, situation again. Let's get this and we'll give them the 10 wheat every time. We're clearly not running out of wheat. Okay, so what do we got here? We have more people. Four total... I think we go with, uh, oh, we needed humans, right? Many humans? 10 humans. Let's take these. Okay. Uh, do we have homeless? We do have homeless right now. That is a situation that's not ideal. We do need to fix houses for them, make houses for them. So let's just add a couple, three more houses. I think 
get those done. Okay, so pack of crops. I want to pause that. And we only want to have packs of provisions, but right now we don't have the herbs for that. Okay, when is the trader coming? It's not right now, not right now. You're like, KOS, just pay the global tax and get the trader. But the KOS says, no, no, not right now. It's not time yet. All right, farmers are doing their thing. This is working really well. Yeah, this is looking much better. Lots of stuff happening here. Okay, so let's get a farmer or two. And we now have, wow, lots of people. Lots of people free. Um, so what do we want to do with this? Let's add beaver here. And shall we? Okay, so we do already have one person working on this flower, which is kind of great. Do we need more? Probably not, I would guess. Let's see, flower is there. 75, we have tons of flower. They can work on planks. Do we need planks though? Where are the planks at? Let's see. Building materials. I don't know why the building is not with uh, fuel and exploration. Okay, they, they count that as that. Okay, so I guess we could get more planks. Um, or even better, I think what we really want to do is get a stone cutter's camp and move it around. The scavenger's camp, hmm, we don't actually need that stuff, so I think we're going to just leave it. Wow, they can get both the flax and the eggs. The eggs have a bonus of meat. How many charges does this have left? 11 of 15. Alright, I think I'm going to have these lizards work here until uh, we need to get some tools ready because then we can open up these things and get those things i'm kind of like debating you know do we want the herbs more or do we want to buy that from the trader i think it's probably better to buy the herbs from the trader than the copper i think that's the solution there okay so let's do this let's go here and we'll finally get a bit of stone that's gonna be nice you can also have multiple camps of each type, but right now I'm so short on the bolts that we don't have that option really. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. High resolve 0.16 per minute. That is actually almost uh, getting past the queen's impatience numbers. So that's good. That's quite great. So pack of trade goods. What do we? What else do we need here? So yeah, the insects was a pain thing. All right. Do we want to add a beaver here? Maybe. Let's take a beaver off of here and put on a lizard and put the beaver here. See if we can get something done with the spark dew. That's fine, that's fine. We have now too many builders. Do we want to gather this stuff? I don't think we need it. 40% chance of leathery stuff. And this one was what, tools again? Yeah, tools. Hmm. insects grain we don't actually have any insects that's the most unfortunate thing about this whole situation it's like no we need we need the stuff come on <laughs> uh okay let's see we can scavengers trappers that would be here let's go ahead and put a couple lizards over here i think that might be the solution let's have three builders and make sure that everybody gets homes that's really important right now. Because homes do give a huge buff. This is so great. Wow. Having this uh, this buff here is really going to help us with all of this other stuff. So, alright. So we're going to get some copper. This is going to be kind of exciting. So obviously they're only going to harvest the thing that's in their range, which is the stone over here. But that stone is going to give us a 40% chance of getting copper. And once we get copper, we can go to the furnace, the smelter. Ooh, I should hire, hire someone here to give us what? Rebuild the smelter. I hope we have some... Oh, we do have a ton of bricks. Good. <laughs> we have a ton of bricks. <laughs> Imagine that. Exactly one ton, right? Not not any less or any more. Yes. Okay, we've opened up this area. Always good to check what's here. We've got a medium abandoned cache, fertile soil, 
and moss broccoli patch. That's nice. Okay, our first kind of thing that we can say is, hey, stuff. So that's foragers camp can grab that stuff. I think, was that the one that we had over here? It is. Okay, cool. So I'm going to move this in range just to show us, hey, this is useful. Um, but otherwise, let's see what this cache requires. It's 10 tools and you get uh, plus one to resin production. I have no idea where resin comes from. That's a bit of a rough thing, but we can also get biscuits and jerky and fun stuff. Yeah. All right. We don't have any tools yet, though. So we're going to have to wait a tiny bit. Okay. is Where's the trader? Trader, get over here. Come on. Okay. So what do we got here? Efficient brewing plus 50% to amount of goods produced at the brewery, which we don't have a brewery yet, but it's actually a good idea. So let's get that. And that's what we got. That's all the things that we have. Um, we have no luxuries yet. Do we? Can we see what we they want for luxuries? Let's see. Leisure, human housing, pie, biscuits, jerky. You're not telling us what you want for, for luxury. Hello? Help? Okay, well. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, oh, we can actually connect the path. That's nice. Paths do have that movement speed bonus, so it's kind of nice to put them there. Okay, smelter is almost done. That's kind of exciting, actually. Because we might be able to just make some copper bars. And therefore, get tools. Tools are great. Okay, so let's uh, hire... Probably a lizard would be good here, I'm guessing. Because lizards like to work in warm environments. So let's try a lizard here. I don't know if that... Oh, no, it's actually beavers. Oh, but lizard ha is happy. Lizard is very happy. However, I think it's worth putting beavers here because of the yield. We don't actually need that many trees, I think. So I want to just get... Take a... Ooh. Take a beaver off here and we can replace with the lizard. Oh my god, it's like the revenge of the lizard people, right? <laughs> Let's put beaver there. Oh, beaver is not getting any bonuses? Okay, that's so strange. Hello? I guess only extra employees can be those. All right. Anyway, let's make copper bars. I just want to do... Oh, we can do crystallized dew as well. Ah, oh, yes. This is a valuable item, which is a good trade good that you can trade with the trader if we ever find her. <laughs> so do we have any resin and other random stuff like this? We have 32 resin. We don't have any oil. We... Let's see. Rain mill. We have a rain mill. Why do we have... Do we have oil? I don't see any. Do we have any? Hello? No. Nye. Oh, it's burnable. No, we don't have any. This is a rain... Oh, this is a rain collector, not a rain mill. No! We don't have the right thing. Okay, it's fine. Wait, where were we? We were... Mixing up all of our employees. So, uh, I do want to cut into here. I'm going to move the woodcutter's hut to here, approximately, and chop these trees. Oh, that's too many trees. Okay, so we want to go into those places and unlock those areas. I'm going to go ahead and do those two first, and then I might do that one later. Um, okay, but we were looking at... What were we? Oh my gosh, I'm so lost in this. Okay, it's fine though. We are making copper bars and we were looking at the crystallized dew, but we don't actually have the oil. So biscuits, no. Let's just have you make the copper bars. And hopefully, do we have the tool maker? Yeah, we do. We have simple tools here. We'll go ahead and make these if they show up, but we'll see how that happens. We do have our storage, and yeah, we're just waiting on a couple of bolts in order to make the other thing. Uh, but otherwise, we're doing pretty well. Let's see, we have two unemployed people right now. But otherwise, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. We're looking for herbs. Let's see, do we have any herbs? We have four. Where is that darn trader? Help! Come back, trader. Trader lady, help us. Come back. 
This sunny season is kind of nice, actually. Kind of nice. Very nice. Oh, look, we got a point. Nice. I didn't even notice this. Let's go and get our thing. Beaver house. Oh, that could be good for the beavers. Alternatively, we have all the things. We have religion, luxury, and education. But I don't know what they cost. Let's see. Luxury. Okay, so religion needs incense. Um... We have luxury fulfilled in the library market or tea doctor. Most beavers long for the comforts of the citadel. Is that the, I think that's the, oh yeah. The, oh, hey, I just had a thought. Manuscripts and education services. What did it say was free? Luxury is free. Hooray. Okay, but we can get the incense. So we're definitely going to pick the library because that serves multiple factions and is not oh this is so exciting i don't think i've ever unlocked the library before this is amazing hooray this is actually great so where does this building go oh there there it goes there okay what do we need we need six bricks and ten planks so i want to see let's see stamping mill smokehouse and apothecary now we do have a smokehouse here it is so we just need those, those darn herbs somehow. Yes, they are needed. Yeah, happens. Jeez, it's always something, you know, in this game. There's so many production chains are so like intertwined and stuff. It's there's it's like boggling the mind how many products there are uh, and, you know, trying to get them all organized. But I think it's worth the effort. I think it's worth playing because it is a very fun game to play. All right, I'm just going to add some roads here, just a few, because we'd like to connect these places together. Ideally, I would also like to cut through this area to get to this storage house. And that's mostly for the farming crops. So I think I'm going to move our uh, lumberjack there shortly. Oh, trader, trader. There's no notifications anywhere on the screen. You just have to literally look. I, I want the trader to have a, a pling. Did they have a pling here? I don't see one. All right. Trader is here. She has herbs. Oh my God. All right. So we're going to, we're going to get herbs. <laughs> we're going to get all the herbs she has. Everything. All right. She has, oh, plus one to flower production. That's pretty good. Um, I think we're getting 10 flower per each. So it's not that great. Eh, I'm going to pass, I think. Glades are examined more carefully. Gain five barrels for each discovered glade. I don't think we really need that. Much needed furnishings, additional plus one to resolve for villagers with a home. Yes, please. That's happening. So we're buying that. We're rebuying our herbs. Do we need anything else? Uh, like roots or... I don't think so, actually. Okay, so how are we going to pay for this? I think we're going to pay maybe pay in eggs. Eggs is a good idea. So let's see, if we change this to, I wonder if it's an equal amount. I haven't actually looked at this. Yeah, there we go. If we do like 81 eggs, they should be happy with this deal. Yeah, there we go. Trade, so trade. So they are a one-to-one -one trade uh, with basic goods. Of course, higher end goods, like, let's see, is there anything? Here we go, luxury item. Let's trade these and then we'll see how much one amber is. Let's do one and say, I don't know, 10 broccoli. Wait, oh, so 10 broccoli would, would cover one amber. So if we trade 10 of something, we could get a bunch of amber. So if we do, let's see, what eggs? I think we're gonna go with eggs again. Let's trade mm, 250 eggs. Uh, that should give us 25 amber. 25 okay and she doesn't have any hammers i wanted to buy some of those hammers but i don't see them so let's just trade oh actually less apparently 200 still too much okay 190 uh, oh no no not quite not quite you know what let me just do 190 see if that's enough Okay, so we can trade this. 
Now, I'm keeping the game paused. I'm just wanting to see, is there anything else that we can do here? Oh, first of all, let's put in a human, for example, making probably biscuits and pie, because I want to get both of these made. Let's have a limit of 20 each, or 30 each, maybe. 30, oops, hello, 30, no, no, no. Okay, delete doesn't work, but backspace does, I think? No. Uh, backspace. Why is this not working? Okay, hold on. 30. 30. Okay, clicking in there works, apparently. So we're going to do this and hopefully increase our pastry, uh, yeah, our pastry count. <laughs> Let's see. We can, can, is she selling any bolts? I don't know if you can buy bolts. I can't remember if you can or not. Plus three to coats production. I think we're actually, wow, we're actually ahead of the queen's impatience. This I have to say is one of the best games I've ever played. Just FYI, we're having a really good run here. There's a roots deposit there, but that's it. I think we're just gonna go up. So we're gonna remove these trees so they don't have to fix them or they don't have to cut them. What else do we have here? We just have those things. Really don't want to go into one of those danger groves because they could kill us instantly. So we're going to let the trader leave, I think. Do we need anything else? Okay, so that's leather. This stuff that looks like... I don't know what it looks like. The small icon's almost like swordy, like hairy looking stuff. I don't know. Uh, offerings. I don't think she had offerings... Uh, and then we needed incense slightly. Do we need roots for anything? I can't remember. I think we're going to be okay. I think we have all of the herbs and flour or um, what should I say? Grain and flour. Let's limit the flour to like 80. I think that would be good. Okay. And let's go. We can let her leave. Let her leave, finally. Poor thing. <laughs> it's been like, hey, you know, KOS, I gotta go, you man. I, I gotta get out of town. Someone's waiting for me. Yeah, well, sorry. All right, the trader Sahilda has left. Okay, and we are going down slightly in stuffs. Ah, because it's massive rainy season and sad times. But uh, we are going to build things. I do want to see if we are making any of those little bits and pieces. We have lots and lots of raincoats. I don't see the tools yet, nor do I see... Oh, there's the copper. Okay, so I have we have gotten copper before. We have made copper bars before, but probably we are just uh, gathering some in these areas. I, I kind of... I don't see it. I kind of wish to see how... Um, how much stuff we're storing like how many copper bars are in this facility how many you know logs are here because i don't know i don't see it anywhere but i could be missing it you never can tell all right uh what's going on here this looks okay everything is fine the broccoli hut is good let's go ahead and make a path down here because right now all of these people still have to walk this whole way anyway so might as well make it a little bit faster for them go ahead and go across this field even though it's not ideal oopsies okay let's go this way eh i wish that wasn't backward er. okay we need okay so we opened this one earlier you can get this one off don't need that Ah, pick a cornerstone. We got a new one. Hooray. Okay. So we can now make a brewery. Oh my god. So Clothier gives us our own raincoats, which we don't actually need right now. Um, and oh, manuscripts. No. But we do have a... Don't we have a brewery? Yeah, we have a brewery thing. We got to do the brewery. Yep. This is our option. Got to take it. Got to take it. Okay. We'll take it. Brewery is being made. We don't have space here. Oh, we do have space there. We can put it there. We can always move buildings, remember. These trees are blocking the last two squares here, so we would need a woodcutter to chop them down. This is why it's so important to kind of like expand into glades that you want to use because they do have a lot of room for building. It's nice. 
Okay, so brewery happening maybe soon. Oh, glade opened up. Hooray. We just have a dewberry bush and a small thingy majingy. Do we have any? We don't have any broccoli. Darn it. But um, I think we can just send that to the citadel, give our extra points there. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully things will happen well. We need more humans, though. Wait, was that a human thingy? Were they going to give us humans? No. Just beavers and lizards. Just beavers and lizards. Okay, this one was that. Needed tools. So we're, yeah, trying to get this one open next. Okay. Still working. Newcomers are waiting. Ah, yes. Let's get newcomers. So we need two humans. Oh, here we go. Two humans. Let's get three, just in case. And here we go. Sloppy wood cutting. Oh, wow. Wood cutting speed is increased by 100%, but fuel burns twice as fast in the heart. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, wood cutting is way easier. Woodcutter's camp production is quicker. I don't know if this stacks both. You know, we should find out. We should pick this and see. Oh, it is. Times two. Look at that. That's amazing. And we have sacred pyre. Okay. Why is that times two? Eh? We only have one ritual center. This one isn't open yet. Confusion? Question mark? Hello? Okay, well, whatever. Um, but soon more perks shall be ours. We're getting there. What is our thing? 0.43 per minute. This is amazingly good. Really, really good. Okay, so now road is going to enable us to travel a tiny, tiny bit faster. Um, do we have stone anywhere? Wait, we have luxury goods. Oh, we have amber and we have crops. That's nice. That's always nice. So, packs of provisions. Did we have anybody making these things? I don't think so. We need them to be made, though. Let's go ahead and choose a person to work here. Okay, beaver gets a tiny bonus. Humans, no. So I guess beaver gets the bonus, so let's take the beaver. Carpenter. Anything needed here? Not really. Um, gosh, what else do we do here? Let's see, I think maybe having another farm would be a good idea. Potentially. This is a nice farm, but man, we need to cut down some of the trees ne nearby because it's not very efficient right now. But it is a huge farming area. Because I'm thinking we really need, we'd love to get some more uh, broccoli from this. Could put... I wonder if that one is... So the trees are eating some of this farmland. I think we do need food. Maybe. Just need those roots. Let's see. Are we making stuff? Here. Let's have another human working here. Because we need stuff. We need all the stuff and all the things. See, that farm field is done. Yeah, this is... Uh, I guess we're going to have to move one of our woodcutters. I really want to open all the glades first. <laughs> There's so much to do. So much to do. Oh, hey, this is a broccoli patch. Hooray. Yeah. Hey, cool. Let's put some people to work here. Actually, those are both human. Oh, they should both get the, the whirly saw thingy. All right, here we go. Let's move along. That's good. Oh, trader has left. Okay. Trader, where are you? Why is there no, like, Trader has entered? Or unless I'm completely missing it, do, do just say, oh my gosh. And you know what? I have completely mistook the time. So we need to pause now because this episode is way, way, way too long. Obviously having way too much fun. But that is going to have to do it for us today. Uh, again, if you are interested in getting this game, I would be very grateful if you use my creator code on Epic. Uh, because that is, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, a good place to get the game at the moment. The only place to get the game. So um, anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.